Hey guys, uh, Gamer101308 here today, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you, showing you guys something I did. Okay, oh, okay. So you guys know how I did the video on the homemade shotgun made out of wood and with the gun thing, yeah. But, uh, kind of unexpectedly, it broke. The end of it broke, because I was trying to saw it off to make it a little bit shorter to make it look a little bit better. Ended up breaking. Didn't work so well. So, uh, I completely remodeled it, and here's what it looks like. It kind of went into like an SMG kind of thing. Got a little, uh, uh, whatever these things are called, yeah. For the, uh, grip, the force grip button. Added a strap, which is actually really efficient. And, uh, if you guys remember the light that was on it, I, uh, made a pistol. Which is kind of crappy. Not done yet, but uh, yeah. That's that. Um, back to this. Now, I took the uh, scope off, so as you know, there's no more of that. It's kind of more like of a, I guess you could say, SMG kind of thing now. But uh, yeah, the grip on there, oh, I, it's really sturdy. I didn't think it'd be that sturdy with just using electric tape. It's just PVC pipe taped on there. Um, this, the wood, this wood, I thought would break, but it's doing good. Um, and then I still kept this on there. But this is the part, it was about like out to here, and then this part broke off. Then I added the strap. Just an old belt that I didn't wear anymore. Got tired of it, but uh, yeah. There it is. Now I'm thinking about taking something and putting it there to if I have a little bit of aiming thing. I know it doesn't shoot or anything, but it'd still be cool to have it. Now, uh, Onto the pistol. This is the pistol. It uh got a little saw off the side, so it kind of looked cool. But uh, it looks pretty cool. But it needs some work done. Other than that, it looks. I, I think it looks pretty nice. But uh, yeah. Let me just run up. Wow. Um. I guess that's it. But uh. Oh yeah. Um. I thought while I was at it, I'll go ahead and show you guys my uh wooden sword. I've been working on in uh, shop class, but uh, this is what it looks like. Um, I'm getting an electric tape, and I'm gonna cover it, cover that right here, so I can have a black grip. But uh, that's it. Yeah. Um, what else am I gonna? Oh, I wanna show you guys. I used to be into making uh, homemade bows and arrows. I gave up on the arrows, I wasn't good at that, so I went to sticks and I'll show you guys my other videos. Got some arrows. Um, haven't made a bow yet, but I made a I've had this for a while. I've made a couple. Probably made two or three. But uh here's this. Little thing to hold your arrows in. Right here it's got a knife thing, nice little pouch for your knife. By the way, ninety nine cents, duct tape and electric tape. All together at Walmart for approximately two dollars for two of these. Which the other ones in my closet? I haven't done anything to yet. But see, you can put your arrows down in here and uh, put your little swords if you want. But uh, made these. They're uh, giant. The big paint sticks. Just put into your duct tape form and electric tape. And then you got here's what else I use. But, uh, these are like, uh, I guess you could say, not night, I mean, they're kind of like night sticks. They're kind of cool. It's off the end of a poster, and they're really durable. They're pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, these things, they look kind of like, I guess you could say, kind of something samurai. They look pretty cool. So, I just made them off out of a broken old, it, they were to a poster. That's what I just made them out of. So, yeah, you can have that. And then just fits. And you can just pop out an arrow. So yeah. That's my video. Shotgun pistol sword knife thing you hold your arrows in, which I can't remember the name at the time, but I know it. So yeah. Oh yeah. This Saturday's my birthday. Woohoo. So yeah. Leave a comment and comment section below and say happy birthday do something yeah
So, yeah, Gamer101308 signing out.